Now, many African countries are regularly troubled with moderate to severe power outages that affects the daily lives of an estimated 600 million people. Joining us again today with part two of her series, Lighting Africa, is VOA reporter Mariama Diallo. Hi, Mariama. Welcome Hello. back. Hello, Demi. It's my pleasure to be here. Tell us more. Today, we're, going, uh, we're highlighting an entrepreneur that's working to help Africans in need of light. He's the former CEO of the multi-million dollar game company, Cranium. In 2007, with Alexander, sold the company, moved to Ghana, and started a company that leases rechargeable batteries to people who live off the electrical grid. A street vendor in Ghana lights a kerosene lamp in order to stay open a few more hours. A child in rural Kenya studies by a kerosene lamp at home. In Africa, 600 million people live without electricity. Some say it doesn't have to be this way. Witt Alexander and his brother Max moved to Ghana four years ago and opened a business called Boro. It's a rechargeable battery service. You pay a small deposit for each battery you take. And then every time your battery falls, batteries don't die in Ghana, they fall. When your battery falls, you just bring it to your borough reseller. You pay a small fee every time you change your battery. His batteries charge just about anything, including lamps. This takes three of the borough batteries, and it's got four different brightnesses. But you get 200 hours on, the, on this super saver mode, we call it. And then this we call bright, and that'll give you about 20 hours. Now, you might want to close your eyes, because this is super bright. This lights up a room, gives you five or six hours. But charged cell phones are crucial, he says. If you're on a cocoa farm in Soquenya, in the eastern region of Ghana, you know, 80% of Ghanaians own a cell phone, but only 50% live on the electric grid. So keeping that phone charged is a major issue. For Witt's brother, Max, chronicling their journey on what he calls an African adventure on bad roads with the brother and a weird business plan was inspiring. Ghana is near the equator, so it gets dark at about 6 o'clock every day, and that's when the flashlights come out. And, uh, you know, Americans could equate it maybe with going on a camping trip, you know, but it's every day of your life. He says he's learned that the challenges his brother faced are common and requires patience, flexibility, and skill in training employees to do a good job. He hopes his book inspires people who want to help. Younger Americans, I think, feel like they want to be able to make a difference in the world and maybe have a feeling that, you know, just going to a Save Africa concert is not really doing all that much. I think the inspiration there is my brother, he just went over and did it. Which says the people he works with every day inspire him. These guys, in the face of adversity, when things go wrong and me as this like, you know, crazy American executive over there, I'm like, oh my gosh, the vehicle broke down. We're gonna be late for the village meeting. What are we gonna do? And you know, Nee will just say, wait, it's cool, calm down, you know? We'll get out, we'll call ahead, we'll get a taxi. He says his business hasn't made a profit yet, but he believes he's on the right track. Wow, thank you so much, Mariama. So it looks like there's something to look forward to, at least in terms of this electric shortage. shortage. Absolutely. I mean, I think uh, just the, uh, all we need is more innovation, more creativity. And I know that it's not just the, the people from the West who are coming in Africa with these ideas. There are also a lot, uh, like a lot of people, local people, people who are from Ghana, from Kenya, from Senegal and other uh, sub-Saharan countries who are doing amazing work and amazing, uh, who are coming up with amazing ideas, really. Technology. Uh, absolutely. Technology. Yes. Well, thank you for bringing that to our audience attention. Absolutely. Mariama Diallo joining me. us here.